Starting with a big picture view in the upper level jet stream, you'll see a couple of things here. First, we have a high pressure ridge that's building over much of the western U.S., including Montana, and that's the key for producing some very warm and dry weather. But there is a trough forming offshore, and a lot of the storm energy is moving up and over the top of the ridge, but eventually will start to move down the backside, and that will begin possibly as early as tomorrow evening and into Saturday morning. Most of tomorrow looks fantastic. Very warm, 60s, maybe even a few 70s are possible out there. And as you look at the forecast hour by hour, again, pretty calm and quiet tonight and into most of tomorrow. But clouds will be building late, and there could be a few showers and isolated thunderstorms Friday evening. But as this front digs through the region, it's not expected to bring widespread moderate to heavy rain or mountain snow, but at least a little bit of off and on wet weather is possible Saturday and into Sunday. So as you look at the precipitation forecast again, dry tomorrow, but Friday evening, Saturday morning, we pick up a little wave of moisture and then it's more of that hit and miss variety as you look at uh, Saturday afternoon, evening into Sunday along the state line, especially from Lima to Cook City. That's where some of the heavier precipitation bandy could occur, but a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch is a possibility but again it won't be raining all the time it'll be off and on as you look at potential for mountain snow it's in there as well mainly saturday evening into sunday morning higher elevations could pick up some snow but i doubt valley floors will see much in the way of any accumulation i think it's just going to be way too warm